lesson for today. Before you go on a long trip, please, please, please make sure that you have a checklist and you've checked everything off. I thought I had everything and I forgot my easy pass. And I don't carry cash, so I have to drive back to Maryland from, I was like, eh, it wasn't that far. I was like an hour away from Maryland towards New Jersey. I have to head back to get my easy pass because I'm gonna get a whole bunch of fines if I don't. Oh, excuse me. Oh. You're gonna spend a ton of money on gas having a class B RV. Okay? When I did the research, I knew this was coming my way. People were telling me like they they spent most of their budget on fuel. And that's true. Um, I have a car. I haven't figured out how I'm gonna tow it yet, but once I do, this RV will be parked most of the time and I'll be using the car to drive around and do what I have to do during the day. Um, but just know that if you go from car dwelling or van dwelling to an RV, better make sure you have a big budget for gas. Like every 143 miles or every 145 miles, it costs me about 30 bucks, which is for my car, that's a full tank of gas. And 30 bucks only gets this tank a quarter of a tank. So at three quarters of a tank, I have to put 30 bucks in here. I have no idea what it's gonna cost to fill this thing up. I'm thinking it's gonna be about a hundred bucks to fill up the tank of this. Oh, excuse me. Ooh -wee. Um, but it is a lot more comfortable. Um, you have a lot more conveniences. You have your bathroom, your shower, your sink, your stove, your refrigerator. None of which I've used. Um, I've only used the sinks because I brush my teeth in the morning with a bottle of water. In retrospect, I don't really need a class BRV. I don't really need it. Um, I think if I were to do this all over again, I would have probably stayed in my car a little bit longer. Um, the only issue with staying in my car is, is there are some things that I definitely want to take with me to Tennessee and they can't fit. Everything won't be able to fit in my car. Just won't fit. Sorry, I'm yawning so much. All right, so that's the tip for the day. Make sure you have a checklist. Go through it systematically. Check everything off, because you do not want to have to turn around on a long trip for something as small as an easy pass, which is like that big. But without it, I can't pay toll because I put my budget for toll on the easy pass. Now, you can get more than one, problem is, is I only have one, so yeah, I'm going to have to get more than one, so this doesn't have to be a problem again. Alright guys, talk to you soon.